Yandi is most likely one of the most well-known unreleased albums of all time. If you're unfamiliar with Yandi, it's the record that Kanye West was going to release in 2018, but due to political controversy, travel kidnapping, and also a deep dive into the religious realm, the album would never see an official release. And later, some tracks would be turned into clean versions on Jesus is King, and some would be scrapped altogether. Either way, millions of videos exist on YouTube and millions of zip files have their own version of Yandi. Everyone's made their own Yandi album with the leaked tracks we did get. And while I always really enjoyed the leaks and were shocked that Kanye, literally the living version of this, that whole, you know, this is, this is fantastic, let me just trash it meme, my one underlying issue with a lot of people who remake songs that are leaked and never released is if there is a reference track or if there's someone has a verse that wouldn't have been used they put every god dang possible feature on the track so you got a, a cool instrumental but then they ride it out for nine minutes letting everyone have their part in it and it's just it's too long me being a creative person who has an oddly obsessive personality especially when it comes to designing, creating, and of course, this is why I have the YouTube channel, editing things. I went ahead and said, hey, why don't I make my own Yandi? But I took that a step further after making my edits and creating my album. I decided I was going to put the thing on a vinyl, make it a physical form, and I've heard good things about this company I did it through. In the Clouds is the company I got this done with. Um, this is not a sponsored video, but I'll put them in the description anyway, in case anyone wants to replicate this. But, we officially have got it in the mail. Vinyls have been very uh, delayed due to COVID, uh, but I finally got it. This has been a thing like three, four months in the making. So I'm very excited to see this. Maybe it's gonna suck. Maybe it's gonna look like trash. Maybe I upload the wrong file. This is gonna be a great mystery. But I am a huge vinyl guy. Um, I, I don't think I'd ever have any other album that didn't officially get released uh, on put on vinyl. You know, I thought about it for TurboGrafx-16, but you know, there's nothing like Yandi. This is a lot of people, you know, will say that this album would have been, uh, you know, a new generation's My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy in its own way. This package is really fucking wet. Um, so I just, I've been so mesmerized by the leaks. I've fallen in love with tracks like Alien, Shockerous. I know I said it wrong in the freaking timeline video and everything, but, um, this has been an album that I can never stop listening to. This has been an album I've heard so many renditions of, and I've always thought, you know, what would the ultimate edition look like? And I, you know, while a lot of people do enjoy Jesus as King still, it didn't exactly live up to my expectations, especially when we got to listen to the, uh, you know, what could have been. But I have opened this package. This thing looks beautiful. Holy cow, this looks nice. Um, wow. So of course for the cover, this is the sleeve for the vinyl, I just have the Yandi cover art. But on the back, we saw that Kanye, um, while releasing this record or planning on it, would put billboards up with like a text message style uh, for Yandi and then the date. So on the back, I have all the tracks I put on here. Um, it's like a little text message conversation. Then I have all the dates that were never fulfilled. How depressing. I'll get into the, the tracks I did do and the edits I made uh, in a second, but I just want to check out these... Uh, discs here here we go they sent them separately for me um, I only got one by the way this is only about 40 minutes I think of runtime I got so um, this looks really nice so as you can see uh, for the little design here on side a I got uh, the tracks that are on this one and then for side B I did the same um, it was really interesting designing this to be honest with you like fitting the tracks now I had to cut down uh, what was it? Uh, City in the Sky. I had to cut it down a little bit just to make it because I'm like, I'm not paying another 40 bucks for like two more. It was like one more minute of uh, <laughs> audio time. But this is very interesting. I'm, I'm more interested to see how this plays, to be honest with you. But um, so far, everything's looking good. I'm a little nervous. This was all around like, I think 70 bucks I spent with shipping and everything. So I'm hoping this sounds great. Before I go ahead and play this thing and see how it sounds, I am first going to talk about the edits I did make. Um, so for side A, I start out with Triple X, uh, which is later to be known as The Storm. Um, this version has uh, Ty Dolla on it, of course. I have Kid Cudi's verse in there because it is beautiful. Um, I got the little synth intro that's fan-made, but also uh, I, I took the version that uh, 
Mike Dean recreated. That's in there. So, and then I also got New Body, of course, with Nikki. Following that, Bye Bye Baby. Um, that's the whole, you know, the drums. And that has a really, it's kind of like I Love It in a way. Uh, I think that one's featuring Mickey Blanco. Then we got I Love It itself following that uh, with Lil Pump. And I think I, I used the version in the music video uh, for that. I didn't, I didn't have the girl uh, interlude and outro for that. Uh, but, you know, as much as we may not like Lil Pump anymore, it is a, it, the song, I know it's a goof, but it is a banger. Spread Your Wings, of course, is on there. It's a, you know, just standard version. That's probably one of the most solid tracks off Yandi in terms of having like one version of it. Uh, and then the final uh, track on side A is Hurricane. This is a version, I think I put the intro uh, seen in the little snippet Kanye had. And then also it's just featuring uh, Aunt Clemens. That's the only feature I got on this thing. I think it's like, it's under three minutes. That's like I'm saying, like people will make Hurricane seven minutes long. It does not need to be seven minutes long. It's a beautiful instrumental, uh, you know, behind there, but then people just take it too far. Uh, for side B, Start out with Alien. I only got Kid Cudi on it, and I do have Aunt Clemens on the, the whole intro thing. Um, then I got City in the Sky, Ty Dolla, 070 Shake, all of that good stuff. Um, designer as well. Uh, we got Love, Tiana Taylor. Uh, again, a pretty standard track, but right before I made this, thank God, we got the leaked version with the new outro uh, with uh, Lauren Hill's uh, quote or speech or whatever that Kanye put in there. So I got that in there. And we got Law of Attraction, uh, just Kanye and, uh, I think I just put Kanye and Aunt Clemens. And then Shockerous, uh, featuring The Dream is on here. And then finally, we do close it out differently. I know everyone's going to be like, well, this is kind of similar to the SNL track list. But then you switch it up at the end because my last track is Slave Name. Uh, and that is, it's, it's just strictly the instrumental because it is beautiful and it is the perfect way to end a song. Also, it really takes me back. That was the last song on the original uh, Yandi leaks. So I just, I decided I would do that. I, you know, it just brings me back. Even if it's not, you know, I don't know, but I, that, that guitar is amazing. So I have that as my outro here. It's under a minute. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead, drop the needle on this thing. Let's give it a listen. Let's see how it is. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy this little unboxing type of video. It was different. I, I thought I'd want to film this. I thought my fans would be pretty interested in vinyl, uh, Yandi, you know? And I'm sure I'll get some views too if I clickbait it, say like, I got Yandi on vinyl. So um, I thought it was interesting making my own album. Uh, if you guys really want it, I can link my version of Yandi in the description. I can put it in a zip file and share it. Um, but very interesting process. I, was rec I would recommend this. If you guys are music nerds like me, and I think if you're following this channel, you're pretty obsessed with music and you're quite a different person, such as me when it comes to music. You don't just listen to the radio hits, you listen to albums all the way through. Like a sane human being, by the way. Uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend using in the clouds if you want a physical copy of uh, an album that was never put on vinyl or never released. I, I know there's that one vinyl of Yandi that floats around that has the cover art, Kanye, and then Gandhi's on it. It looks like trash. This is the way to do it. Again, um, if you guys really want this stuff, I can even link the, uh, I'll put out the cover art and the back art I did. It did look a little bit digitized, but that's fine. I don't really care. Next week, we are coming out with the rodeo video. We are taking an excursion. It's not too far away from Kanye, but I do want to branch out to other artists in the rap game. We're going to be talking about Travis Scott's debut studio album, Rodeo. I already got that all written. I'm going to start filming and editing and getting that out to you guys on Friday. That's going to be a premiere. Uh, so and get that community stuff going again. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Again, you want the details, leave it in the comment section. 
Um, I'm not going to be like, get me to this many views or likes, you know, if you guys want it, I'll give it to you if you're interested. Um, but really, that's it. Yandy on vinyl. I do not endorse listening to leaks and I would never do that. There's no proof of this being unreleased content. Do not take my channel down. Anyway, uh, see you Friday for Rodeo.